my first impression of a Ghanaian beach heartbreaking beyond heartbreaking plastic more plastic trash there's trash in the water so this part of my Ghana vlog is a bit of a rant I know but this isn't my only experience of a beach in Accra it gets better I promise this is my first experience of an African beach and it's utterly heartbreaking it is so trashed and trash is a problem in Ghana it is not disposed of properly it is killing the landscape I don't even know what to say I did not expect this the only thing that made it reasonably worth it is a horse ride for the kids really she should be what? oh you want to free the horse? He wants to free your horse. <laughs> this horse is beautiful. So, Labadi Beach was cleaner than La Boma, but too busy for my liking. The sellers kept approaching, trying to get us to buy anything and everything, from second-hand shoes all the way to sunglasses. I understand that that's how they make a living, but it was difficult to relax there. Also, at some point, a group of plus-size women arrived to twerk on the beach, right in front of us. Soon, the group and the crowds that gathered to watch them obscured my view of the sea, and there was nowhere else to go. <laughs> all in all, on that day, the beach was just super busy, and there was very little space or privacy. Other than that, we did swim a little. It was better than La Boma, but not great. So finally, here we are at the Bojo beach. First, upon arrival, you pay a small gate fee. Also, you cannot bring any food to the Bojo beach. They search your bag to make sure that you didn't. Tokyo. From then onward, via a cute bridge over a little river, the view of the Bojo Beach huts unfolding in the distance. Initially, the sea looked far away, but there was a boat waiting to take us there. We didn't have to walk nor wait. Before we knew it, we were at the Bojo Beach chilling to Bob Marley tunes. <laughs> See the fishing boats on the horizon? I asked the lifeguard jokingly if I could join the fishermen. I thought I might be able to add fishing on the African shore to my travel experiences. He answered with a very straight face that women aren't allowed on the boats because it brings bad luck. Huh? I thought he was joking, but he seemed super serious about this. I did a little research, I love me a little research, you know, and learned that there's a significant gender inequality in West African fisheries. According to theconversation.com, Women are restricted in their roles there and often don't have the buying power to purchase enough fish to earn a living. Heart wrenching. Moving on. Look where he is. Like. Okay, he's keeping an eye on okay. I just told him that my horse is keeping an extra eye on you and me. Okay. 
This is how far my two boys ventured into the sea. The seaside is very shallow for a very long distance, which makes the Bojo Beach child-friendly, I would say. But the waves were very, very strong that day, and the boys were getting farther and farther away. So we had to call a timeout. So go, enjoy yourself, okay? But when the whistle blows, they just stop. Stop and come, okay? I know, no, I know. The people see the. I know, I know. Afterwards, I joined them in the water. The waves were so powerful and so beautiful. I had missed being in the ocean so much. The boat came to pick us up straight away. I think these guys watch the beach from the other end and when someone is leaving, they just come. You don't have to call them. But this time, inside the boat, we waited a little longer than before. Soon, it turned out that we were waiting for a reason. We were waiting for the man with the machete. Right there. A moment sitting next to a stranger with a machete made me feel a little uncomfortable but hey we all lived to tell the tale <laughs> and I guess the moral of the story is when in Africa don't be alarmed when you see a stranger with a machete he might have just been opening coconuts or something no biggie Then we were on the way out, the beach getting farther and farther away. Suddenly we heard a loud splash somewhere behind us. Are there any sharks in the water? But by the time our herds turned, there was nothing there, only a huge ripple rushing through the water. Whatever creature that was, it must have been big. Today is the 26th of uh, March. I am going back to London on the 28th. But this place is so cool and I think I'm seeing a crocodile. About that crocodile or not in my next Ghana vlog. But first we'll go back to Krakow, Poland. The green light gate is where the Bojo Beach Resort ends. And so does this vlog.